when Greg first phoned and said, oh, we're going to go into the Arctic for a surf trip. Can you come? The notion of it was bizarre. It was just wrong. But I, th I thought, oh, well, what the hell? It's only four days. And when we arrived here, like, it was odd. There was perfect waves. If you do anything for an extended period of time, you get relatively stale with it or stayed. And you, no matter how good the waves are at where you live, after a while it's the same thing. And no matter how good it is, you need to change and to keep everything fresh. By traveling, by constantly searching for different waves, you either find something that's better than your home or you simply reaffirm how good you actually do have it. The essence of surfing is surfing. It's as simple as that. For every single person, it's about going into the sea and being happy to be there. And if you can do that at Burley, for example, if there's 5,000 people in, or if you have to get away to a place like this where there's just two of you and three seals, then that's what it takes. It's, it's a walled up wave that, that attaches itself to the reef, that hugs the reef and stands up and with a few barrel sections and just a few lips, that's a perfect wave. Just to come here and surf and say, you know, you've surfed in the Arctic Circle, but to get barreled and get some world-class waves, it's, it's couldn't have asked for better. Getting here and the whole extreme thing of, of coming and not knowing exactly what you're going to get, it was well worth it and I mean, I'd do it all over again.
Like I said, it was odd. It was surreal. It was wonderful.